very much weirdness in the sky this evening. Very much weird. It's dead calm out there, man. Dead calm. Like the calm before the the big one. Check that out. Very much weird. Hello folks, how you doing? Welcome back and thank you for tuning in. Now, this unboxing is going to be a little bit different from the others, so stay tuned. i got a box here. I haven't had a chance to open I've had it for a few days. had some health issues going on and I haven't had a chance to open this one. I've been wanting to get it on video though, this one. And the other uh, box is a guitar, so stay tuned if you want to see what's in the guitar case. Anyways, if it's your first time here, click that subscribe button. And uh, click it if it's not your first time here, even if you're watching this, click the thing. 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Man, that's just nutty. It's a fruitcake. Anyways, thank you for it if you did do it. And uh, I'm going to get you. I say, I'm going to get you now. I'm going to get you. And we'll get right into this. Uh, open this little box first. I figured I'd save the big one for last. Uh, I know more of you is probably more excited about seeing what kind of guitar it is than what's in this box right here. I'm excited too to see what's in this box. Anyways, I have it right here, so let's do it. Do it! <laughs> all right, well, welcome back. My apologies, by the way, for all the fans and the. Uh, you probably hear the AC over top of this little fan. I've got a little, like a six inch fan over there, down there. <laughs> and uh, it's running through. It's hot as the hubs of hell here today, man. I think maybe I can just pull this apart like so. Now, if you watched that unboxing video, the guy that sent me the uh, belt sander and disc sander, I think it's the same one that sent this, and he wants to remain anonymous, and I'm, I'm going to respect that. I have no idea what this is. He told me there was another package coming. He said, uh, you know, he got really nervous. Let's see his address right there, I think. Yep. I want to be careful there. Said he got really nervous when uh, his name was spoken in front of so many of you. <laughs> All right. I don't know if this knife here is sharp or not. Yeah, it is. How y'all doing through the pandemic, folks? How are you making it? My knife ain't as sharp as I thought it was. That we can get into it. I'll rip it apart from here on. And it falls down in the floor. Wow, no clue what this is. Not a clue, man. But yeah, he's uh, he wants to remain anonymous. You know, I always respect that and honor it. There's more addresses. I can't show you the addresses. Uh, I thought we had a love letter there, but it's just a... Oh, shit, it's more, ad even more addresses. Wow. All right. Here we go. Let's open on this end. Like I say, I have no idea what this is. No idea in the world what any of it is. I just know, I'm pretty sure, it's from the same guy. That looks like it's just packaged. From the same guy that uh, sent me the sander. Yeah, <laughs> more sanding belts for it. Oh, dude, I can use these. Let me make sure this is just... I don't think there's anything in there. Well, you know, it's got an addresses on it, too. Wow, address, that's his address. I can't show you that. The package has arrived in the wrong order. He told me, he said, uh, for some reason, when he ordered the sander, or both of these, he had them ship, shipped to me, but they went to his house. So he sent them from his house to me, and he told me, he said, you're going to get a package in the mail. I said, okay, I'll watch for it. He was talking about this one. I know that now. I didn't know it then. I didn't know it till right now. Uh... And then you're going to get a great big package. And I said, dude, I already got a great big package. I can't imagine anything being bigger than that. It was the sander, if you all watched that video. These are just sanding discs. See there? Probably different grits, looks like. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they are different grits for sure. And I would say these belts are probably different grits as well. Then I'm not going to cut the band on them to find out, but... Oh, maybe I can see down in there. Once you cut that band, 
And I've got all those other belts to use up first. So this will be easier to store until I need them. All right. You want to see what kind of guitar we got, okay? Hold on. I'm going to go get it right now. i got to pause the camera and go get the box. Hold on. I want to take a minute and say thank you to you know who that sent me the, the uh, sander. <clears throat> yeah, that thing is, I've already used it several, a couple, three times, maybe four. Thank you, man. I love you, brother. And thank you for the belts and the discs. Everything you sent, I appreciate. I appreciate everything you, all of you guys send me stuff. Like Christmas in the middle of summertime. <laughs> All this stuff will get used. Right now I'm having a few things, funky things going on with my health again. Y'all know about the rheumatoid arthritis. I think you do. And I know you want to know what kind of guitar this is, so I'm not going to get into my health issues. And we want to see what this guitar is. I know what it is already. And I know I think you guys are going to like it. I know I haven't even seen it yet, and I'm going to like it. There's a buckle in the case unlatched. I don't know about getting it out of here. Well, I'll see how it got unlatched now. The bubbles is catching it. That's in there pretty good. Alright, this is a top bubble. We need to know I got that bastard backwards, man. Okay. I'm going to lay this out this way. Because the handle's right there. Well, that wasn't bad. Tweed case. Yes, sir. Alright, let me pick all this stuff up. Packing all over the place right at the moment. Uh, let me pick all this stuff up. I'll bring you back. And uh, we'll get into this thing. See what kind of guitar is in this tweed case. Hold on. Alright, welcome back. Got everything cleaned up finally. Here's the guitar. Wow, man, I can't hardly lift it up there. It's so heavy. Usually, I bring the camera over here closer and let you guys see it. I'm going to show it to you. I'm just going to take it out of the case and leave the camera over there. Uh, mainly, what this video is for is to check this guitar and make sure it makes the trip okay. That's all this video is. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Probably ain't gonna be able to tell what it is over there. Wow. It's a beauty, I can tell you that. It is a beauty, man. Let me get him out of here. And uh, I'll have to see what else is in that case. The case lid won't stay open because, yeah, maybe it will. Just barely fits up there. I don't know, I see some stuff here he's seeing. It's like a uh, pick guard. We don't have a pick guard on it. Now you want to see what kind of guitar it is, ain't you? Well, it uh, looks like a Martin. It doesn't say Martin on it. Maybe it's a kit guitar. I'll have to ask the owner about that. It's got a pick guard and some uh, rosewood strips or something in there. Yeah, it's like rosewood strips. I'm not sure what that's about. Let me shut that before that thing bites me. Here it is. See, it doesn't say Martin on there. But it sure looks like a Martin. Those keys look like maybe it says something on there. Oh, not a word, man. Beautiful chrome keys, though. I bet you this is a kit guitar. I get to looking at it, man. I forget to show it to you guys. It's got uh, two nails. Oh, that's all talking the bridge on. Those are uh, locating pins to hold the bridge on it right now. The bridge is not glued on. It's loose. Quite a bit of work to do to this puppy that I see already. Okay, let me lay it up. Let me get rid of the case. I want to get the guitar up here and I'll bring you over here and show it to you better. So I thought he told me this was a Martin guitar. I swear, man, I think it's a I think it's a uh, maybe a Martin Kit guitar. I just want to look real quick. Oh, you gotta check that out, man. I, I need to check and make sure the neck is straight. I didn't do that. 
but we got the good lord 40,000 30 thousandths between the straight edge and the bridge and it's flat down on there with these locating pins all right the guitar don't have any holes in there for uh, that's what he was talking about you do have to use the drill bit to drill them out and then you got to taper them after that all the holes is not even in the bridge check that out all the holes that's not there but they are on this side but they're just not all the way through so we'll have to eliminate that use these locating pins when I glue the bridge on it uh, I was going to look and just make sure it made the trip okay and it looks like it did but I swear man I think this is a kit guitar the glue job around the neck does not look factory. It's a good job, whoever did it. Fretboard extension looks like it's been glued on. It looks good too. Some sharp frets right here. Very sharp. Oh yeah, man. A lot of sharp. They're all sharp. <laughs> I think all the frets. I bet somebody just probably pressed them in or hammered them in. They don't look like they've ever been played on. They still have to be leveled and dressed and crowned and polished and all that jazz though. Just because they're brand new frets doesn't mean you can <coughs> glue on the ridge, string it up and play it. That's, you just got to have a complete fret job on it. Find out what the radius in the fretboard is and flatten them to that radius. And then uh, do what I told you. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get you and bring you over here and show you a closer of it. See, it doesn't say Martin up there. I'm pretty sure I thought he told me it was a Martin guitar. He got, I think he sent the nut and saddle. I told him I could make a nut and saddle for him. I can see these frets have not been played on, man. See, they look new. Y'all, by the way, are very lucky to be seeing these images right here, right now. Because in the process of taking this camera off the stand, I dropped the damn thing. And he, oh, he's hit hard, man. And it made a funny noise I never heard it make before. These locating pins, all right, that's uh, basically what they are to locate the bridge so you can drill the holes and glue the bridge in the right place. I have to drill the holes first. Stay tuned for that. Nice guitar, but I just don't think it's a Martin, man. There's nothing inside of it that I could see. Maybe on the braces somewhere. I didn't look at that. Let me see if I can flop him over. I'll show you the back of it. That's what the back of it looked like. I'm seeing that in the camera. But when I look at it with my eyes, actually look at the guitar, I can't see that. I would tell you, crazy shit like that always happens to me, man. You see that? I can't feel it. I can see it in the camera monitor. But when I look at the guitar, I, it's gone. I mean, it's just gone. That is messed up, dude. I swear it ain't there. <laughs> Anyways, you can check out this. Uh, let me keep out the light. See, they did a fairly good job gluing it on there. That don't look like a factory glue. Well, maybe they didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, that's not a crack, I don't think. I looked at it close a few minutes ago. It looks like a crack in the camera, but I don't think there's a crack there. Uh... There's not a crack there either. I think it's just the way the shadows make it look. But see, that's not factory glue on there. I don't know. It's got to be a... Here's what the keys look like. They look brand friggin' new. I mean, they're just shiny. I just don't think it's a Martin, though. I have to ask him about it. I see a lot of the work it, that's got to be done to it. It's got to have a, a new saddle for one thing and a nut and I'm pretty sure like I said I think he sent me a nut and saddle for this guitar but if not I can make one I've made thousands of them before and that's what it is that's what it is hold on I 
figure while we're unboxing, let's unbox one more. <laughs> this is from the same guy that owns the guitar. I haven't even opened this yet, man. I knew what it was. It's got a love letter in it. These are the strings he wants on this guitar. They're Ernie Ball, slinky top, heavy bottom. The gauges from the high E to the low E is 10, 13, 17, 30, 42, and 52. That's what he wants on this guitar here. Alright, I'm going to take a chance that I can read you this. I haven't read it yet. So here we go. Hi Randy, here's the strings for my K. K. This is a K guitar? I swear he said it was a Martin. These are the strings for my K. These are the strings I always use on this guitar. Let me know when you need some money to start. And he's got his name. Harry's his name. Harry is the guy, I'm not going to tell you his last name. Harry is the guy that uh, owned that old, really old K guitar. If you guys remember that, a few videos back, not very many, it ain't been that long ago really. He owned that guitar and he loved it when he got it back. He said, man, it was just, it was perfect. Thank you, Harry, for the business. For the business. I always like it when people send me another guitar. I know they were probably happy, happy with my work then. <laughs> uh, I, I guess these are the strings he uses on his K guitar, that guitar I was just talking about. I always use on this guitar. I'm assuming this one here. Oh, there's another thing somewhere. I gotta find it because I got so much stuff in the mail. Uh, he probably had a nut and saddle in it. Yep, I think this is it. No, it's got strings in it. Wow, I don't know what to think, man. There's no nut and saddle there. Now I'm really confused. These are retro, Martin retro acoustic. Light 12, it says. MM12 nickel. String gauges from high E to low E is a 12, 15, 25, 31, 41, and 54. These probably are the strings he wants on this guitar. I don't know what these are for, man. Well, he sent me strings for the K guitar. Okay, this one says, Hi, Randy. I did. I, yeah, I read this to you all before, I remember. Well, I did it again. My old ass forgot to mail the damn strings for the Martin. Okay, this is for this guitar. These strings are. I sent you. LOL. Man, old age is a bitch, and I'm sure you know, know it. It takes a 1164 drill bit for the peg holes. Well, that's what that dumb ass guitar teacher told me. It might do that to drill it out, and then they need to be tapered after that, because you can't just drill them out and put pins in there. Uh, I don't know if there's any pins in the package or in the case or not, or if you send any pins, let me know. I have three more I need to set up. My 79 Fender Strat need to be the next one, I think, for fitting me in. Thanks for fitting me in. And signed Harry. Well, you know, okay, okay, these retro strings go for this guitar here. What the hell is this, man? Hi, Randy, here's the strings for my K. These are the strings. Oh, I know what this is. He sent me a set of strings for that guitar. They never did come in, so he sent another set, just like this. I'll put them on the guitar. You can watch the video. And, uh... Then these came in. I, I forget how this, they've been here, I don't know, a couple or three weeks or something. And I remember sticking them right there. I was going to tell him about it and I forgot. Okay, these are the ones for this guitar. So I want to keep them with it. And uh, where did I get this right here? Wow, the confusion, man. <laughs> All right, there you have it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. This video probably getting kind of long. I don't know how long it is. Uh, yeah, those are the strings. The first ones he sent for the K guitar. It took forever to get here. Like I say, it come in two or three weeks ago. I remember now. And I kept telling Harry all that time I had the K here. I said, those strings never arrived yet, man. So he sent another set, and they arrived. And then these came a couple weeks ago. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching, man. This is too hot. My brain don't work that good when it gets hot. Well, actually, 
it don't work too good. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. See you on the next video. Stay tuned. We're going to tear into this one and make a real player out of it. I'll have to find out if he sent a saddle and nut. I got a whole ton of stuff over there I got to go through yet. And it's probably in some of that stuff. I don't remember unboxing a saddle and nut. But maybe I, it could be. I don't know, man. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Woo! It's the boogity pop. All right. Well, the nut and the saddle and the bridge pins and a hell of a long letter. Check this out. There's one page. There's two pages. I'm not going to read that to you all because I have no idea what it says. I had not read it myself yet. This stuff was in the case and a pick guard and it looks like a strip of rosewood. I thought that was two strips. And a piece of fret wire. I got, all, I got everything I need here now to do this puppy, I think. <laughs> wow. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to get into it. Woo! See you there. A very much weirdness in the sky this evening.